So now let's take both of these up to white. And what we can see quite quickly is that this one is a very sort of purpley tape, and this one is a very greenish blue tape. So right away, if we try to send the same color mixes to that, it doesn't look right. And let's do that too. Let's do composite mixes of primaries. So here's red and green, and they are markedly different. This one is very yellow. This one is really strongly tinted to green. And likewise, if we do all the combinations, we see similar skews in color. So in this combination, this one is very purple, uh, sort of a pinky purple, whereas this one is leaning towards a bluish purple. And the final combination, um, this one is kind of a brighter bluish, whereas this is kind of a darker greenish. So color match is going to help us with all of this. Let's go to white. And on this side, I am going to pull the blue down a bit. I start to see some bluish yellow in there. I pull the green down a bit. It's starting to look quite neutral to me there. And I want to get see if I go far, it starts to look pink. So I'm going to go back up till it looks fairly neutral. I'm feeling pretty good about that. To my eye, right there is looking pretty neutral. Let's go to the other one. And I can see right away that looks pretty pink. And if I pull the red down, it pretty quickly starts to look blue. So I think our green is weak, but if I pull the pink and the blue down, we start right around there, we start to get to a, a neutral. And I'm going to look at the monitor also for this because of course we want to adjust not only for my eye but we want it to be looking neutral on camera and I think that's that's getting pretty close and of course you could tinker with this a lot with your eye but let's say that that is that's going to be our target let's just look at the paper again yeah I'm feeling pretty good about that this one in particular I'm feeling good about. Now we want to save these ratios. The whole idea of color match is that the new relationships that we've found between the three primaries to achieve the white will be saved in the dimmer, used with 16-bit math, which is uh, much, much higher resolution than the 8-bit levels that come from a console. And then ever after that, the color data is corrected. So to save these values, we press and hold set A. And after a three second, three to five second period, we get a blink. And that is, let me let go and it goes to correction. So the reason we saw a shift when I let go is that's now the color mix that we've got on the console. It's not, um, it's not our correction. It is the actual color that's brought up. Let's set, let's hold set A on this one. Wait for a few seconds. And we release, and there it is. Now look, when I put everything on full now, I have the values that I previously selected. And now let's see how that impacted our composite mixes. So now red and green, wow, they're much closer than they were before. And likewise, purples, to my eye, look nearly identical. And finally, once again, it's a highly successful process. So basically what we're seeing here is if we can get the, if we can get the whites to have the, the common neutral shade that we appreciate, then the whole color wheel is corrected. It's really can save you a lot of money in LED tape.